So, week two has been a bit of a mess. But because it's freezing cold out here, I'm going to get home and I'll talk to you about it. But basically, all my timings have gone to pot. Um, I think I've been losing too much time investing in people who uh, things just got messy with. Uh, and long and short of it, I've kind of lost my way of focusing on myself and it has, you know, reflected in what I've achieved this week, really. I'm just worn out and exhausted, but I'll talk to you more about it. Things have been not a shambles, but the, compared to week one, they've just gone a bit AWOL. So it's basically timing. It got to a point, so week one, I was spending decent time doing like all of the six things that I planned to do. Week two, I sort of have this like overlap thing where I, I started to want to spend more time learning than uh, what I class as work kind of thing. But I've got things that I'm trying to do for other people, if that makes sense. So I can't just neglect those things. I have to do those things. now. In order to do some of those things, I've joined this little community club not too far from where I am that they've got uh, a lot of different like tools and stuff and they've got a laser cutter, laser engraver, 3D printer and all this kind of stuff. The problem is my access to that place is limited <laughs> basically because if they lose the key to the workshop, we can't use it. So. That's been a big, a big thing this week where I've needed to get onto those tools, but they've lost the key. So that's really kind of threw my whole system out of whack. So then it was like, okay, so I'll focus on the learning thing and do the learning thing. Now, the other side to the work thing was to focus on my various different YouTube channels because, you know, they're doing okay. And the more I put into them, the better that they will become. But it's got to that point where I found myself, it, it was like what I was investing into them just seemed to begin to feel like it was, like it was taking too much time and the outcome just wasn't, it's like wasn't worth the time spent into it. Like you're putting all that effort into something and it just, it just doesn't feel right. It's like my mind has shifted now to the point where I wish to learn and I wish to do these, like these little things for like other people, these little commissions and stuff. But I've not allowed myself to park that work side of thing on the side because it feels like at the minute that's given me a little trickle of a little trickle of income. So it feels really stupid to zip that off and focus over here because what I'm basically saying there is I'm going to sacrifice this little trickle of income to like do this other stuff. And when you haven't had a trickle of income for so long, that feels like a really stupid thing to do to cut off your nose to spite your face kind of thing. Then on top of that, oh boy. So when I say about sort of getting caught up with people, there's, this is something that's really, I don't know how to explain it, but there's a, there's a particular person in my life that things are really complicated with. We've got a history, it's, it's just a messy history. And even now, things are just complicated, just really, really complicated. I've been open and honest with them, and I've spoke to them about how I, I need, it's not a want, I need to focus on myself. I need to do better, I need to be better. And just basically, I need to, I need to build myself up and help myself out of this like horrible rut that I've been in for so long. Now, initially, they were okay with that. And they were like, yeah, you know, you do you, we'll support whatever you want to do. They themselves have gone through a really, really rough patch. And because I like to try and extend a hand of care to the people sort of in my life, I found myself doing that. This is something that I that I have always done. And 
I won't lie, oftentimes it has... I suppose if you do it, you know what I'm going to say in terms of you almost not sacrifice your own life, but you wear yourself out to help other people out because you don't want to see somebody else fall down into where you've been. So it was that sort of situation. I've always done it. I've always put myself out there for others, never put myself out there for myself. And as I've got older, I've started to realize how much that's damaging me like mentally physically everything really and so unfortunately the just the mess that things are between me and this person anyway and then with them having their downward spiral me reaching out and try and do what i can because we are a distance as well so it's not like they're next door they're nearly two hours away from me me reaching out in the way that i can just to try and talk them out of doing anything stupid or just to make sure that they're still here the next day has started to take so much out of me and i think what's become really hard is them turning around in ways and saying that i don't care about them or you know my life's better off without them and all this sort of stuff so it's then putting a different sort of pressure on me where i'm over here like i don't need this right now i would like you in my life but i also need to focus on my life and it's got to a point as like we're both mid thirties and it, it feels like, and this is going to be really insensitive to say, but it feels like you have to, when, when you say like, I want to meet them up, I want to meet up with them or I sit down and have a chat with them. Fine. The next day they'll say, Oh, you don't want to do that. I don't come high enough on your list of priorities. You know, you've got other things to do. And it then becomes a frustrating battle of, I've told you I wish to spend time with you. I've put aside some time. I've told you this is when I want to spend time with you. I have literally done that. And you're now telling me that you're not a priority in my life and that I don't care about you and all this sort of stuff. And it, it starts to become really exhausting where you're constantly going over, reassuring them of things you've already said. And it's honestly, it's getting to the point where... I can't keep doing it. And it's something that I have found myself doing for too many years of my life where I'm trying to just keep their head above water, just trying to let them know that they're wanted and accepted in you know whatever way that looks like in life. But it's starting to cost me. It's cost me in the past and it's costing me now. I'm so worn out because I'm so tired because I'll talk to this person and then when it comes to going to sleep, I'll just get a barrage of messages at two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. And it's just like you you want to reply to them just to help their own head. If you've been in a really dark spot, you know what it's like. But you reply to them to help their head and you know, then they turn around and it's a case of, okay, cool, yeah, focus on yourself. We don't need to speak every day, you do you. And then you don't speak to them for one day. And then you get a barrage of messages saying that you're ignoring them. You know, what's the point? Blah, blah, blah. It gets to a point where you can't do anything right. If you talk to this person, they tell you to leave them alone. If you don't talk to them, they tell you that you're ignoring it. And then, you know, you should just tell them that you don't want anything to do with them. It just gets tiring and frustrating. And... As, as crap as it is, when you want somebody in your life but don't understand why they bring so much of a headache to it, I've been open and honest with this person since day dot. I've laid out everything on the table and I said, look, this is where I am currently in life. This is what I am doing with my life. This is what I'm trying to focus on. This is how, like, my other... The lads, I went out the weekend with my the two friends that I spoke about in the first video where I said to them, they only keep me around because it makes their life look better than mine. Those two guys, they don't constantly hammer me to fit in around my life. They'll pop up like, do you want to do something? Can we do this? Do you want to do this? If it's a yes, happy. If it's a no, happy. Whereas other people, when there's like deep emotions involved, 
It's like you tell them exactly how it is and how things are, but because it isn't what they want to hear, then they have to bring so much drama that's just not needed. And then they wonder why. It's almost like you're getting frustrated with them. So this week has just been a complete wash because I, I've ended up focusing too much time on the... I don't want to say the wrong people, but I, in a way I suppose it is. Other people other than myself. I should have focused on myself more and just, I don't know, risked losing people out of my life. And I hate that. I hate that because when you feel a, a draw to somebody, you, the last thing you want to do is cut them off. But sometimes I just kind of feel... Sometimes you just have to. And that's really hard to say and really horrible to say because the last thing I want to do is cut somebody out or step back from somebody who I feel plays some important role. But if you can't deal with or you can't put up with or you can't cope with, they're just endless... stress that they put on you when you've asked them and you've told them this is what you're doing with your life this is why you need to focus on you and you've said to them look this is how you fit like i can't be there 24 7 you know this is where things are. i don't hate you i want you in my life but obviously i've got to focus on me and you're agreeing that i've got to focus on me you can't then lose your mind when i focus on me and say that i'm not giving you enough attention kind of thing and it's just like I'm getting really drawn out with it, man, because every time I try and do something for myself, every time I try and focus on myself, it's almost like there's a test sent to me where I have to make a choice between cutting people off and just being what I feel would be really rude and really unfair and really hurtful and just basically you know what I mean, close off to people and just continuously focus on myself or put myself over to the side and turn and help other people out. And I think that's the thing is I've always turned to help people out. And I don't, I don't have the strength to keep doing that. I need to work on myself. And be better for myself. And I'm just getting worn out. And I had these six things that I wanted to do. That were helping me. And the, the chance or the minute that they get derailed. For one reason or another. Everything just goes to pot again. And it's like this week has just been just relentless. Like well, even just the timings of those things. I felt like I've. I've spent too long doing one thing. I haven't been able to spend enough time doing another. And it's just been a mess. It's just been a real mess. I don't, I don't want to come across harsh. I don't want to come across like I'm rude or, or whatever the word is. But it's, it's getting to that point where I'm going to have to start being brutally honest with people and saying i cannot deal with your stuff right now whilst i'm trying to deal with mine and then they're gonna have to decide how they take that they're gonna have to decide what they do with that and i have to not get drawn into an argument about stuff if i say to them look i'm trying to work on me you know this and they know the reasons why i'm trying to do it and they've been okay with that and if I say that and I draw my line in the sand and say, look, I appreciate you, but I need to do this for me. If they then have a meltdown and come at me and tell me that, you know, I don't care about them, I have to just ignore them. I have to just not be influenced by that. I want to do better for me and I can't do that if I'm going to let people rock my boat. I'm just worn out. I'm just really mentally, I'm just 
just done in. I'm just really, really done in at the minute mentally. In a different way to like depression. It's just exhaustion at this point. So that's how my second week has been. <sighs> Hopefully when you see this video, this day, my mate is going to take me bowling. His kids are off school. It's the holidays over here. So he said, mate, let's just go bowling with the boys. So me, him and his kids are going to go 10 pin bowling. Hopefully that will just give me a little bit of a little bit of a break because I need something. Thank you guys for the support. I genuinely really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again. Peace and love, everybody. That's a bit hippie-like, wasn't it? <laughs>